Hello friends, I'm Rita Boyer, educator at Prospect Presbyterian Church in Maplewood, New Jersey. Thank you for joining me for the Connect Ed lesson for November the 1st. And thanks to the people at Seasons of the Spirit for giving us permission to use their curriculum online. Well, most of us aren't doing much traveling these days, but if you and your family were taking a trip somewhere that you had never been before, you might get out a map so that you could see what roads you would be taking to get where you want to go. And when you get in the car, you might put that address in your GPS, again, so that you know that you are on the right road. It's always a good thing to know that you're on the right road. Well, in today's lesson, we're hearing Jesus tell his disciples and his followers how to be on the right road in life, how to know that you are on the right path, the path that God wants you to take. Now, we might say, well, it's easy to know if you're on the right road in life because if you're on the right road, well, people will applaud you and you'll get the award for being the best in something. And when you get older, you'll make a lot of money and live in a big fancy house and drive a fancy car. That's how you know that you're on the right road, right? Well, we'll see about that because we'll think about that very question after I am done sharing with you what Jesus had to say about that. We find Jesus' words in the Gospel of Matthew in the Bible. It's the very first Gospel in the New Testament. Matthew chapter 5, the first 12 verses. This particular teaching of Jesus is called the Beatitudes. The word beatitude means blessing. And after I share each beatitude or blessing with you, I want you to help me by saying they're on the right road. Because that's really what we mean by these beatitudes, by these blessings. So I will say blessed are people who, and I'll describe the people, and then I'll go like this and I want you to say with me, they're on the right road. Okay, can you join me now and practice one time? They're on the right road. Good. And when we get to the very end, you have to pay attention because instead of saying blessed are they, the very last beatitude says blessed are you. And so whenever I say, blessed are you, and describe a time when you are blessed, I want you to say, I'm on the right road. That will be our very last beatitude. Okay? All right. Jesus' days were very busy. He walked all over Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and healing the sick. He taught the good news of God's plan for everyone. People soon told their friends and crowds came to hear what Jesus had to say. When Jesus saw the crowd of people, one day he went up the mountain. Reminds me of how Moses went up the mountain to talk to God. Well, this day Jesus was going up the mountain and when he found a spot where he could sit, Jesus sat down and his disciples sat around his feet because they knew that Jesus was getting ready to teach them. But there was a large crowd of people nearby, and they could hear Jesus' words, too. Jesus taught the people, saying, Blessed are people who feel hopeless, 
for they will again know that God is with them. They're on the right road. Blessed are people who see the deep hurts in the world, for they will see that God is with them. They're on the right road. Blessed are people who wait for God's ways to cover the earth, for they will see the greatness of God. They're on the right road. Blessed are the people who look for justice and fairness for everyone, for they will see the mercy of God. They're on the right road. Blessed are the people who show kindness to others, for they will know the forgiveness of God. They're on the right road. Blessed are the people who seek to follow God's way, for they will know themselves to be in the presence of God. They're on the right road. Blessed are the people who work for peace, for they will know that they are children of God. They're on the right road. Blessed are the people who are shamed or punished for following God's way, for they will be with God forever. They're on the right road. Blessed are you when people call you names because you love God. Be full of joy, for God will not forget you. You're on the right road. Thank you. So what do you think? After hearing those words of Jesus, how do you know that you're on the right road? Is it because you have the most stuff? Is it because you have all the awards and people's applause? Hmm. No, I don't think so. In fact, Jesus says, blessed are you when people call you names because you love God. Blessed are you when you get into trouble for doing what is right. Senator John Lewis called that good trouble. So it's not always people who get the most applause who are getting God's applause, right? People who are on the right road. When we're on the right road, we are blessed by God. And we are a blessing to others. I think that means that we make God happy. And that God is delighted in us. There is a song to help us think about blessings and being a blessing that is sung to the tune B-I-N-G-O. And that song about a dog named Bingo, do you know that song? You know that tune? Well, if you do, you'll be able to sing along to this very simple song that we call the Blessing Song. And we're going to spell the word bless instead of bingo. It's an easy word to spell. B-L-E-S-S. -S. And each time we say one of the letters, we're going to clap our hands. So B-L-E-S-S. -S. Can you do that with me? B-L-E-S-S. -S. Thank you. Hey, so it goes like this. Blessings are God's way of love, and we are all a blessing. B-L-E-S-S, 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 -S, and we are all a blessing. Blessings are God's way of love, and we are all a blessing. B-L-E-S-S, B-L-E-S-S, B. -L -E -S -S, B -L -E -S -S, L E S S and we are all a blessing. 
Thank you. We'll let that be our closing prayer uh, as we go out to be a blessing. And you will find on the website, ppcfaithformation.org, our children's page, you'll find an activity sheet to go with this lesson. Thank you for joining me, and I hope that you have a great week being a blessing to others. Bye-bye.